Hi everyone, my name is Tricia Lyons and I'm the Missioner for Evangelism and Community Engagement in the Diocese of Washington, D.C. In fact, I'm speaking to you right now from this gorgeous chapel here at the Bishop's Office, a chapel dedicated entirely to female saints. My friends, if you are watching this video, there's one thing that I know is true about you. You are a faithful member of the Episcopal branch of the Jesus Movement and you believe evangelism matters. My friends, we have all seen over the last three years the passion that Michael Curry, our presiding bishop, has for evangelism. And under the direction and the leadership and the hard work of his staff, led up by the Canon Stephanie Spellers, we have seen our church do things in this area of evangelism it has never done before, with passion and joy and transformation that we have never seen before. If you're watching this video, let me tell you, if you have not already checked out online the stories of the actual revivals that have been held across the church and led by our presiding bishop and Stephanie Spellers, if you have not seen those stories, go online and see. It is amazing to see the work that's done on the ground before those revivals and after, so that there won't just be mountaintop experiences, but that in between the mountaintop experiences, there are resources and there's a network of people praying for you and cheering for you to do the work of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in the world. My friends, there have been resources like the Evangelism 101 packet. It's free. If you haven't already downloaded it, do it. It helps individuals. It helps faith communities or Bible studies or campus ministries take the next steps in evangelism. It teaches about the baptismal covenant, prayers in the Book of Common Prayer, and scriptures that guide us in this holy work. My friends, those of you who have been seeing those revivals, using those resources, attending conferences like the Evangelism Matters Conference, that the National Church teamed up with the great, passionate Jesus freaks and followers at Forward Movement, and they put together a list of people who went to that conference, catalysts in evangelism, representing all different dioceses, who want training and networking and prayer for the work of evangelism. Some of you watching this video went to that conference. Others of you followed it online. Well, I'm speaking to all of you right now because we have an incredible opportunity to start to gather some of the wisdom that God has brought to us over the last three years of this heroic work of our church. Some of you have examples of evangelistic things that have worked. Others of you have learned to pray differently. And each person has a story of what God is teaching about evangelism. And we want and need to hear them all. We started a Facebook group just a few weeks ago that already has over 2,500 people who've joined a Facebook group called Episcopal Evangelists. But that's just one network, and it lets us know that there are many others. There are voices, there are witnesses that have testimonies to how to do evangelism, to why to do evangelism, or just dreams you have and you need help making your dream happen with God. Well, my friends, Canon Spellers has made something happen that is a miracle for evangelists. At the table, at General Convention in just two weeks for the National Church, there will be a portion of it dedicated for evangelism. And what we want to do is get volunteers to sit at that table for the entire length of General Convention and create a space where people can come who come to convention and ask questions about evangelism, share stories about evangelism. We're calling it the Jesus Genius Bar. Yes, my friends, a place where people can come for help, for prayer, for ideas. And we're going to have some digital storytelling going on there. So if you don't mind, you can record a short video of what your question is. Because we also want that physical space to represent a digital space for people across the church who will not go to general convention. We're going to take that Facebook page and turn it into a digital Jesus Genius Bar for the entire length of convention, where we will be sharing in real time videos that are coming in and being made at the actual physical site at convention. And we're hoping that whoever you are, wherever you are, that you too will record short videos and post them on the Facebook page. What question would you ask if you could walk up to the Jesus Genius Bar? What story or encouragement could you offer if you were the genius at the Jesus Genius Bar? My friends, we want to grab the opportunity of convention to gather the stories that we are building as a church. We need people to sign up for a one hour shift at the Jesus Genius Bar. We'll have t-shirts for you, bracelets for you, buttons to identify who you are, and we just need you to stand there and be a presence. Be that inspiration station for anyone at convention who maybe wasn't even thinking about evangelism until they saw that there was a Jesus Genius Bar to go talk about it. 
And for those of you across the church or across the world who want to follow what's going on there, who want to contribute content to what's going on there, follow that Facebook page. We need all of you. Every act of mercy and grace and reconciliation that comes through evangelism is from God. The word says apart from Christ, we can do nothing. So let's get together during the time of convention and share what Christ has done through us. Thank you, my friends.